So please proceed. So oh, okay, thank you, you very much. <laughs> well, I thought today, uh, since we are doing a retreat next week on forgiveness, and and I thought you guys can be guinea pigs. <laughs> Um, and um, I try out a, method, a meditation on forgiveness today. Because really, it, we all make mistakes. It seems to be despite ourselves, however hard we try, it's our nature to make mistakes because that's what we do. And uh, we also tend to beat ourselves up for some unknown reason. And so I find um, it uh, absolutely vital to forgive myself every day because every day there is always something that a thought that you really would rather not have had or um, a word that you rather not have said or a look that you'd rather not have given. Um, and... Uh, because uh, that's what we do. We make mistakes. So, oh, so um, I thought today we'd uh, just do a little practice on forgiveness that has worked for me. Uh, again, these meditations are, you know, you, it, it isn't, there are no techniques that, you know, this is the formula. If you follow the formula, you will get to the end. Uh, uh, so it's just what leads to wholesome qualities to arise. We're all, we all have different proclivities and weirdnesses, so different things work for different people. So I'm just sharing my weirdness with you. Uh, but uh, meditation really is about uh, bringing up wholesome states of mind, however, however, however that happens for you. So we'll uh, start by just uh, making ourselves comfortable. <clears throat> and uh, ah, giving yourself this time, this next hour for yourself not being disturbed by not being having to respond to the world outside not having anything to do no deadlines to meet no busyness for the next hour i think of for most of us where we are this one hour is a time for yourself. A time that is safe. That you feel you do not need to perform or, or uh, put on a show. So we give this hour to ourselves, a gift to allow ourselves to just be. No agenda. Nothing to do. And so what does it feel like? What do, what do you do to, to feel relaxed?
may it is to get in touch with what's going on, to become aware of being in this space. and being in this body. Allowing yourself to just be. And hopefully, as you settle down, you actually start to notice. Notice yourself. Start listening to yourself. Start hearing yourself. Instead of the bossy voice that is usually telling you what to do. We allow ourselves to hear ourselves. We hear our own voices. Notice what is coming up, what is coming up in your mind. Allow it to come up. How do you feel? Not getting into the storyline. Notice what emotions, what bodily sensations, what thoughts arise for us.
allowing it to just be. Can you feel your body? You notice your breath, maybe. Do you know how you feel right now? And as your mind will tend to wander away, bring it back. Just bring it back to the pleasure of just knowing. pleasure of being aware. Bringing your mind back when it wanders away. And learning to know yourself.
Now, when you are ready, and if you wish to, if you can bring up to mind someone you know who does not judge really when you're sitting in their presence, you know they have no agenda, no expectations of you. That when you sit with them, that you completely have no reason to perform, to be somebody. That person who in their presence you know that whatever you do doesn't matter. You are always forgiven. Hopefully there is such a person in your life. It could be someone you know of, you have heard of. Perhaps a saint, perhaps the Buddha himself, perhaps a teacher that you admire. As you sit in front of them, you know that whatever you have done doesn't matter. And you picture this person. And you imagine yourself, what it feels like to be with them. What do they look like? What would they say?
leaving aside our own versions of how things should be. We get into the world of somebody who has no agenda. This other being who holds nothing against you. This person, this being, this energy that forgives everything. Because it knows that we really don't know what we're doing. We're all stuck in our habit patterns in our delusion, deluded minds, in our small insecure selves. This energy that knows that this is just part for the course. We all make mistakes. It's completely normal and natural. So we are entirely forgiven. You imagine again being with this energy, with this being, this person. And filling in the picture. Being in a room with them. This 
being with them. Imagining what they might be thinking. Mind wanders away, bringing it back and thinking, what would they say? How do you feel? What it is like to sit together? what it feels like to be with someone who doesn't judge you. It doesn't expect anything of you. They're so at ease with themselves that they have no need from you. They need nothing from you. Bringing your mind back if it wanders away.
Noticing what it feels like in your body, in this imaginative, imaginative scenario that you that you're in. And then perhaps bringing to mind someone who we have difficulty with. Well, it's often ourselves. But if there's someone else, and that person now sitting in front of this being, this being that has no agenda, who does not judge. And imagining how this being would react to this other person. How would he look at them, be with them, he or she? What would it be like to look through their eyes and see this other fellow human being Just like us. Lost and confused at times. just like us. Deluded. Caught up in our own worlds, in our own stories. With this, this other being, how would they look at them? And we'd be in their shoes.
What would you say? What would they say? Oh. Coming close to the end of the meditation. And coming back to being in this room again. Noticing how you feel. Allowing yourself to know yourself again. No judgment, no agenda. So we get ready to come out of meditation. But before we end, just consolidating where we have been in the last 45 minutes or 35 minutes. And wishing that just as we have found some peace in the Dhamma, that all beings who just like us are confused and lost, may they also find peace in their life.
We wish all beings well. May all beings find peace. Peace in themselves. When you're ready, and if you wish, you can come out of meditation. So we leave the last few minutes for any questions or anything you might want to ask or, or just sit quietly is also nice. Doesn't have to be a question also. Yeah. Sorry, nameless person. Thank <laughs> you. That was wonderfully helpful. Thank you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could have gone another hour with that nice meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, I find this is one of my difficulties as well, forgiving myself. So I figure other people must have the same problem. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Venerable. That was beautiful. I thought I had learned to accept myself, but this meditation took me to a deeper level. Mm. 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 I think we have to keep doing it because our egos still keep getting in the way. So it's we'll never kind of get to the end of forgiving ourselves because we keep. <laughs> We keep making mistakes. There's a, 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 well, it's a nice practice to do it every day if we can. Just as it, just a habit, you know. Wonderful. I always getting up feeling, okay. end up getting feeling of compassion towards both myself and others too. Yeah, yes. It was so healing to imagine yourself to be with your beloved teachers who completely accept you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is the gift of, of good practitioners. You feel that's their, their presence in the world is a gift to the world. Yes. Allowed emotional insight 
Beautiful. Great, great. Again, you know, it's whatever works for you. This works for me. But I think it's important to remember that we are just valuable human beings. It's an, it's our, it's our psyche to do the wrong thing, so-called wrong thing. And so, um, and um, and you have you you have to get this into your into your mind. You know, we're not perfect, and so. We have to learn to forgive ourselves. Simply lovely. I thought of my mom. She always forgave me for everything. Wow. How wonderful. Wow. <laughs> Not everybody has a mom like that. Moms are great, but moms also want you to be just the way they love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how wonderful. Yes. Yes. Does anybody else want to share how they are their practices of forgiveness or um, what helps them to forgive themselves? Like I said, this is just my weirdness that works for me, so... <laughs> Oh, re realized how lovely it is to be not judged. Mm. Yes, Shirley. Please, yes. It, it was interesting what you said about mums, and there was a still a pang when Paul put his comment because uh, I think my mum loved me, but she wanted me to be. Uh, different from what I was and I still want because of that I well I don't know I still want to be different from how I am you know in quite subtle ways now much more subtle which is what I noticed in the meditation but um yeah I think one of the most powerful things I had on a retreat was when I was able to forgive my mum for mm -hmm. uh you know not wanting me to be, wanting me to be perfect. That was quite a big emotional thing when I could do that on a on a meta. The first long meta retreat I did, I forgave my mum for um mm. for not wanting me to be um mm. well no, I don't suppose she wanted me to be perfect, but it felt that way. <laughs> mm. And I I just want to share that because I think um a lot of us have probably had that difficult right, right, right. I mean it's wonderful if people feel totally accepted by their parents and totally oh, wow. have this sort of feel that they have this unconditional love but I think parents I mean parents are just human and they they right. and uh, they tend to give conditional love right, right. Uh, right. and they do want us to you know they want us they wanted us to sort of grow up to be good people so that's good <laughs> as well and they did you know we're all good people because mm. of the, what our parents did for us, probably. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. When you think about it, your parents were just young people just like you. <laughs> <laughs> and they ended up having a kid. <laughs> I think as well, um, <clears throat> we can only give as much acceptance as we have for ourselves. Mm. so sometimes our parents don't accept themselves and that's why they can't accept us mm. fully fully there's parts of them they rejected and then if they see those parts mm. in others they reject that in them too it's uh, mm. one reason it's so important isn't it to learn mm. to really embrace ourselves or all our emotions our weaknesses and mm. understand where we're coming from <laughs> mm. and realize other people are all the same. Sometimes children can think love is conditional when it really is unconditional. Hmm. Probably most of us have not really experienced unconditional love. We ex well, hmm. at a very profound level. It's a yeah. mix, isn't it? Bit of a mix. Bit of a mix. Yeah, 
It's true yeah. though that sometimes we can think it's less conditional, like we can think it's more conditional than it is because we have mm. our own end of spots and we think, oh, my parents just don't really care about me. They just want me to be the way they think I should be. But like Shirley said, sometimes it is out of genuine concern and compassion mm. that you just yeah. uh, made the best out of your mm. life. It just can come across because we're so tender, we're so fragile, it can really just come across sometimes like pushing us around. But I think often it's not meant that way. We're also easily time to take in the negative, to, to interpret mm -hmm. things as criticism. Mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. Perhaps the intention is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, Leah. Okay. My I couldn't unmute myself. I'm, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Thank you for the lovely meditation, venerable. Um, I uh, forgiveness has been a big theme for me over mm -hmm. the last. Yeah, well, I guess it's for everybody, but um, I've been experimenting a lot with forgiveness, mm -hmm. especially forgiveness for other people, and I've actually realized how tied it in it is with you know with ego you know because it really is so easy to forgive people if you just stop like going on about but he said that and he did that but he did. so if you just like drop that ridiculous story mm -hmm. and and, I've, and I really have been experimenting because I have you know I've always had a um, I would say I don't I don't want to call it issue but you know I you know, I tend to hold people accountable, you know what I mean? Mm. But um, I've realized that actually it's really ridiculous because if you have to really understand human nature, you know, mm. and how fallible we all are and how many mistakes mm. we make. And mm. I have, I'm quite, I don't, I don't like to use the word proud, but I have really over the last couple of years made a, a, a consent, you know, an effort to just say, just forgive, just get on, just move on. And it's so much easier, you know, it's so much easier. You, you forgive, you get on, and actually the purity of that relationship, you know, mm -hmm. moves on and you forget about something that they've done to wrong you. And right. it's, it's really tied in with your expectations of yourself and how tough you are with yourself. I think the two are linked together. So mm -hmm. I think the softer you become towards yourself, the softer you become towards others. So I think forgiving yourself is really the most important thing mm -hmm. because when you can be so, and you, you know, it's, it's so, it, this is what I realized, you know, it's forgiveness of us that then mm -hmm. allow us to really forgive other people. Mm -hmm. and so that, that is the journey. I think you know. Um, so thank you very much for, for doing that for sure for that for leading us through that meditation. Right, right, right. Yeah, thank you. I think it's nine o'clock. So ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Sorry. Thank you, everybody. And uh, well, we're having a whole forgiveness retreat on the seventeenth. So you can explore it some more. For the It'll whole be recorded. Day. Yeah. It'll be recorded for those who can't come. Yes. I think we take it a bit deeper too and look about how we're not only fallible, but we're conditioned, right? We're completely conditioned. So it's very much linked into non-self, this idea mm. of forgiveness, which is why those who've seen the Dhamma, mm. even the question of forgiveness doesn't seem to come mm. up. It's a given. Mm. It's there to forgive. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much, Annabelle and everybody. And uh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Such a treat for me to be able to actually like experience, receive the meditation rather than be the meditation. So it's lovely. I think the next one of these uh, meta meditations is before I, I think Venerable Peckham will have left and then I'll do one more before I leave. I think it's on the 24th, is that right? 24th of June. So we have one more Saturday. After that, we'll be having Sunday uh, talks with various bikinis and surprise people. And 
and that'll start from July the 2nd and it'll be weekly on a Sunday but the times will be either in the evening at 7 30 mostly but there are some times that it'll be nine in the morning so you have to check don't get confused it's not a Saturday meta nine in the morning on a Sunday so they're still done the talks and everything but it just depends on the um on the uh, time zone that the bikinis are in so very good and we can unmute you and if you wish you can wave goodbye <laughs>